Hey everybody, Matt here again. Uh, so I just got off work a little early today and I saw this note showing that my new racing seat came in but they missed me because I wasn't home. So luckily it looks like it's actually still maybe at the post office right now. So I'm gonna go grab it from the post office and then we're gonna do a little unboxing. I can't wait to show you the seat. It's awesome, I'm really stoked, I've been waiting for it. I um, ordered it from Europe uh, a couple weeks ago. So yeah, I'm really excited to get it in and let's show you that here shortly. <laughs> I love the way this car sounds. It just makes so many backfiry noises in the background. It's just, it's the best. Hello, post office. Where's my package? Well, everyone, I, uh, I struck out, unfortunately. It looks like, I should have read a little closer, it's gonna be here tomorrow. Um, today's the 20th, and I think it's actually still out in the truck that was trying to deliver it to me earlier. So I'm gonna have to pick it up tomorrow. Not the end of the world. Uh, for video purposes, it's easy for you guys. I'm gonna pick up tomorrow, right? Now. Tomorrow. So, seat doesn't fit in the car this is today <laughs> I don't know what to do exactly I'm gonna have to drive home like this with it wedged in the back of my car we're just gonna we're just gonna have to do okay I'll COVID up this massive box into my basement I'm gonna show you the unboxing of my brand new OMP Champ R racing seat uh, I bought this seat specifically because it was one of the more budget-friendly options I was able to secure this seat for about $362 shipped to my door from Murray Motorsport uh, it's a website that a lot of the Miata people know for having great deals on on racing seats uh, I'm pretty stoked about it because usually these seats are like $600 and basically this allowed me to get an actual good solid racing seat for my build without having to spend exorbitant prices on them. So let's get this thing unboxed and show you exactly what it looks like. My dog's really interested in the racing seat, as you can see. I just realized I never, okay, I never introduced you guys to my puppy Brandy. Her name's Brandy, and she's a collie mix, and we love her to death. She's great. She's gonna be in a lot more of my videos. Yeah. Oh man. Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. Just look at this thing. <laughs> it, is, it feels super nice. So check this thing out. This is the OMP Champ R. It has a 2020 build date. It's got these actually not insanely wide shoulder bolsters. I was originally thinking about the first R, but I was told that it actually has really, really wide shoulder areas and that that could pose a problem with the Miata, specifically just getting it to fit. I'm gonna have a seat in it and so you guys can see what it's like. Well, the good news is I fit, just barely. Hi, <laughs> what are you doing? It's a little bit tight, I'll be honest. Um, I have gained a little bit of weight over the last year or so but I'm still about a 32 to 33 inch waist. And I am, I'll be honest, I'm probably at the very outer uh, range of what this seat can fit. But I will say, oh man, I'm snug as a bug, man. Snug as a bug. It feels even more aggressive than the Recaro, than the uh, <laughs> Brandy. Oh, what are you doing, silly? You just wanna be in my YouTube video, apparently. Okay, so these side bolsters for your thighs are, are actually not as high as some other seats on the market. 
which is a good thing as a as like a partial you know daily and track car build since this car will see a lot of street use I just wanted to make sure that I got a seat that wasn't super hard to get in and out of and this helps a lot like if, if you picture some of these seats have have thigh bolsters that come all the way up to here you know like really deep this one's not too bad it's still I mean I am really held in tight and I've got a good amount of shoulder space, so I, I don't feel cramped. I'm super excited to get this seat installed in the Miata, but unfortunately I can't do that quite yet. I still need some harnesses, and I need a side mount set up. So until that time where I make the install video, thanks for watching this little unboxing, and I can't wait to see you guys in the future at some track days in my awesome racing seats. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Stay shifty, my friends.